Okay, now let us get into this evidence because I'll have to do a part two to this um this video. This is very important, and if you haven't shared any of my videos before, please share this one because this has a lot of implications when it comes down to the end times, right? And I will back up what I'm saying with the proof and the evidence. Now, this evidence is coming from the Washington Post right and i use the washington post because it got a lot of details right let's get into this evidence date the 23rd of january 2023 earth's inner core seems to be slowing its spin right this isn't the beginning of the end times instead the findings stoke debate about how the core influences some of the most fundamental parts of our planet in the mid 1990s scientists found evidence that earth's inner core a superheated ball of iron slightly smaller than the moon was spinning at its own pace just a bit faster than the rest of the planet now a study published in nature geoscience suggests that around 2009 the core slowed its rotation to whirl in sync with the surface for a time and is now lagging behind. Now, let's get into some more. The, prog the provocative findings come after years of research and deep scientific disagreements about the core and how it influences some of the most fundamental aspects of our planet, including, listen to this, the length of a day and fluctuation in Earth's magnetic field. Now, that is what I wanted to pay attention to, right? So, let's get into some more, right? 3,000 miles below the surface of a scorching hot ball of solid iron floats inside a liquid outer core. Geologists believe that the energy released by the inner core causes the liquid in the outer core to move, generating electrical currents that in turn spawn a magnetic field surrounding the planet. This magnetic shielding protects organism on the surface from the most dangerous cosmic radiation right so here is the evidence where they are telling us that the earth core is slowing down now if the earth core is slowing down that means the protection that earth will have from the magnetic field it helps to generate it might be a bit weak Okay, let us go into NASA, right? And we're going into NASA.gov, right? Because we don't want you to say that we're spreading conspiracy theories, right? Now, let us get into the Hertz magnetic field. Earth is surrounded by an immense magnetic field called the magnetosphere generated by powerful dynamic forces at the center of our world. Our magnetospheres shield us from erosion of our atmosphere by the solar wind particle, radiation from coronal mass ejection, eruption of large clouds of energetic magnetized plasma from the sun corona into space and from cosmic rays from deep space our magnetosphere plays the role of gatekeeper repelling these forms of energy that are harmful to life and um, trapping most of it safely away from earth's surface okay no no we understand the magnetosphere right and we understand how it is generated by the core you need to realize what is about to happen because there is a destroyer planet that is on its way known as Nibiru Tiamat the 10th planet wormwood that planet the destroyer planet is coming right and when that planet comes around and we don't have 
that magnetic shielding. Guess what is going to happen? Guess what is going to happen when Nibiru comes around and we do not have the magnetic shielding? This is a soft disclosure. These people are not going to tell you that we will be getting an extinction level event. Now, apart from that, you need to understand that the poles, the magnetic poles can be reversed right and in the next video we'll be talking about when the poles are reversed and the destruction because it is in the bible that all of this can cause right so we got to break this thing down bit by bit so you understand the implications you understand what is coming the destroyer planet is coming the magnetic shielding that protect us is either going to stop working or it's going to be partial in some areas, right? So by the time the destroyer planet comes around, some areas will get the full force of what is going to happen. Because it all depends on the land and how the people behave. And that is why I keep telling people, silence is consent. You cannot sit and believe that because you serve God and you are righteous, you should not say anything. You have to say something about what is happening around you. The more voices from particular countries, communities, and cities, the less impact will happen to your city or your town or your country. But if you sit quiet and say nothing, then what do you think is going to happen, right? This is a disclosure, right? I do not know why they will allow this type of information because they know a lot of people won't be able to see through it because what they're saying, they're using clever language. Um, it may have slowed down and they make sure to warn you that it is not the end of the world, right? But guess what? It is in the Bible. And in the next video, we'll go over the poles shifting. So this is totally happening. Unbelievable. Everything is adding up. Everything is adding up. And soon and very soon, many of you will see two suns in the sky. Right? You will definitely see two suns or two moon in the skies. Definitely. Many of you will start to see. It. It's all adding up. I will leave a link to a channel that do a lot when it comes on to Nibiru. But understand, this so-called um, slowing down of Earth core, it all adds up with the end times. And in the next video, we'll connect the dots further. So you need to see the face of the Most High while you can, because we're most definitely going to need him. Let us pray and say, Glory be to the most high.